Welcome back, Brilliant Minds. In episode 2, we uncover the basics of thermometers, the instrument that reveals how hot or cold something is, and the divine thermometer orchestrated the definition in Revelation chapter 3 verse 15. I know thy works, I, the divine thermometer, that thou art neither cold nor hot temperature definition, I would that thou wert cold or hot. But today, we're diving into what makes them work in the first place. I'm referring to thermometric substance. Yep, these substances are the unsung heroes of thermometers, reacting to temperature changes so we can get accurate readings. So buckle up and get ready for a temperature adventure like never before. Last time, we talked about thermometers as our trusty temperature measuring tools from the classic mercury thermometer to digital ones as demonstrated by christ to the angel of the church in laodiceans we saw how each type of thermometer is designed for specific uses but what we didn't cover is the magical stuff inside them and the miraculous stuff inside Christ, the thermometric substance that does all the heavy lifting. Wow, the heavy lifting of the sin of all the world. Let's check it out. What is thermometric substance? By definition, a thermometric substance is any material that reacts consistently to temperature changes, allowing us to measure those changes accurately. Underline the word material, reaction, and change. So basically, when the temperature goes up or down, the substance expands or contracts in a predictable way. Think of it like Anita, a friend who is super reliable. No matter what, you know exactly how she will react. So what are the trying components of that definition? Number one, we have the liquid substance. Thermometric substances are liquid in nature. Number two, the tube of thermometer. The idea of space, length, also known as distance, which gives the triple combination of volume, length times base times height. Number three, indicator, a pointer, the content for measurement. Imagine an old school mercury thermometer. As it heats up, the mercury expands and rises up the tube. The exact amount it expands tells us the temperature. Thermometric substances like mercury, alcohol, also known as ethanol, and even some gases work this way. This gives exactly an idea of distance, the change in length, the point of origin and destination, so there is movement. These thermometric substances are actually set in motion as, as their molecules are loosed because of the presence of heat. So the ultimate thermometric liquid, the analogy of the divine thermometric substance. In John chapter 19 verse 34, but one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side and forthwith came there out blood and water signifies the thermometric substance. The soldiers pierced his side which denotes the glass enclosure of the thermometer. Wait a second, what would you then call divine thermometer? Since most of the thermometers are called according to the thermometric substance. Since it is blood and water, is it Messiah thermometer? Jesus the thermometer? I think it should be blood and water thermometer or blood and glass which is Christ thermometer or water in Christ which is glass thermometer cheers if you are correct in first john chapter 5 verse 8 and there are three that bear witness in earth the spirit and the water and the blood water and blood signifies the thermometric substance so liquid in glass thermometer is equal to blood and water in christ thermometer just like we have mercury and ethanol. So here are the big ideas behind thermometric substances. Number one, we have the thermal expansion. A thermometric substance changes its volume with temperature. This thermal expansion is easy to measure and predictable. It's what lets us read temperature with accuracy which is why in john chapter 7 verse 38 he that believeth on me which is the divine thermometer as the scripture has said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water out of his belly the part or the point when the thermometric substance is situated shall flow rivers of living water when heat is applied to the bulb of the thermometer there is a rise in the level of the thermometric substance ephesians 5 26 that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word the thermometric substance that he might present it to himself a glorious church not having spot the thermometric substance is meant to be visible and a very good conductor of heat hence not having spot 
or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Good conductors. Number two, of uniformity. Thalmetric substance should expand or contract uniformly, meaning the change should be consistent. Mercury, for example, has nearly uniform expansion, so it's a superstar for precise thermometers. Hebrews 9.22 And almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without blood there is no remission. So here the blood signifies the mercury, because the blood here possesses a clear and crispy characteristics as seen in the mercury as a thermometer metric substance in malachi 3 6 for i am the lord i change not therefore ye sons of jacob are not consumed number three we have sensitivity good thermometric substance good thermometric substances react quickly and visibly to small temperature change or changes this sensitivity makes them ideal for measuring everything from your fever to boiling water revelations 3 14 and unto the angel of the church of the laodiceans write this thing said the amen the faithful and true witness the beginning of the creations of god i the thermometer know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot based on the thermometric substance so it reacts quickly and visibly to small temperature changes. It makes it very sensitive. Hence, the divine thermometer was so sensitive to the angel of the church of the Laodiceans. And he was able to measure accurately the temperature value and the value was lukewarm, which is average or equilibrium temperature. So what are the types of thermometric substance or liquids? The advantages and their disadvantages. Number one, we have mercury. Number two, ethanol. Number three, toluene. Number four, pentane. If you relate that to the divinity then you have the blood and the water let's pick mercury what are the triune advantages of mercury as a thermometric substance number one high sensitivity mercury responds quickly to temperature changes number two uniform expansion it expands consistently giving precise readings like the angel of the church in laodicea whose temperature was read accurately by the divine thermometer and recall that here we can liken blood to mercury and then we have number three, the white range, which is mercury stays liquid over a long or broad range from negative 39 degrees Celsius to 357 degrees Celsius. What are the disadvantages of mercury? Toxicity. Mercury is poisonous if it leaks or spills. Two, expensive. Mercury thermometers are costly and require special handling. So what are the real life examples? Well, mercury thermometers, they are commonly used in lab environments because because of their precision but due to safety concerns they are being phased out in favor of safer alternatives then we have alcohol advantages non-toxic alcohol is safer to handle than mercury number two it freezes at very low temperatures alcohol can measure very low temperature as it freezes around negative 114 degrees celsius we can liken that to be water disadvantages lower sensitivity lower sensitivity alcohol isn't as precise as mercury especially at higher temperatures evaporation alcohol evaporates if the thermometer leaks or cracks real life example we have alcohol thermometers they are perfect for measuring temperatures in cold environments like freezers or arctic research then we have colored liquid which is alcohol mixture with dye since it is transparent advantages visibility the dye makes it easier to read than colorless alcohol safer for household use since it's non-toxic it's commonly used in household thermometer disadvantages limited range these thermometers don't work well in extreme heat or cold evaporation risk like pure alcohol it can evaporate over time real life example we can see that colored liquid thermometers are popular in homes and schools they are easily to read safe and ideal for everyday temperature checks gas thermometer what are the advantages high accuracy number one gas expands more uniformly than liquids number two wide temperature range cases gases work well at extreme temperatures what about their disadvantages they are bulky and expensive and often large and pricey number two they are complex they are tricky to use which is why they are mainly for scientific research real life example we can say that gas thermometers are often used in labs where exact temperature readings are essential for instance in physics experiments or materials testing
what are the suitability of liquid as thermometric liquid number one the triune components the liquid should expand or contract uniformly with temperature in hebrews 2 9 but we see jesus who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of god should taste death for every man here the divine thermometer made himself a little lower and he was exalted contract and expand uniformly with temperature number two it should have a high boiling point and a low melting point in job 30 27 my bowels boiled and rested not high boiling point the days of affliction prevented me in job 41 31 he make it deep to boil like a pot high boiling point and low melting point he make it sea like a pot of ointment Number three, be easily seen in glass. That is, it should not wet glass and it should be opaque. In 1 Peter 1.19, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamp without blemish and without spot. Can you see this? Which is why the blood here is a suitable thermometric substance for the divinity and it was shed for the remission of sin. John 19.34, but one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side and forthwith came there out his blood and water, the thaumetric substance. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of thaumetric substances? Number one, thaumetric substances give us consistent, reliable readings, making them perfect for everything from weather stations to medical thermometers. Number two, they are adaptable. Different substances work for different environments, so we can use them anywhere from freezers to furnaces which denotes low temperature to high temperature disadvantages number one each thermometric substance has limitations whether it's mercury's toxicity alcohol's evaporation or gas thermometers complexity we can see that there are limitations or disadvantages number two inaccurate readings can result if the substance isn't ideal for the temperature range so what are the applications of thermometric substances in real life listen thermometric substances are everywhere you'll find them in medical thermometers thermostat with their instruments ovens cast temperature gauge they help us monitor control and stay safe in our everyday environments these are the triune functionality of the real life examples of the thermometer substance so that's the scoop on thermometric substances from mercury to alcohol these materials are the backbone of temperature measurement from blood to water these materials are the backbone for life and spiritual measurement they are reliable adaptable and honestly kind of brilliant next time you check your temperature or adjust the thermostat you will know it's all thanks to these trusty substances doing their job behind the scenes in our next episode we'll take things up a notch as we dive into temperature scales celsius scale or centigrade scale then we'll have fahrenheit scale we'll have the kelvin scale and we'll have the unknown scale we'll cover their formulas differences and how to convert between them so hit that subscribe button stay curious and get ready for some fun with numbers learning physics isn't just about memorizing facts it's about understanding the world around you and appreciating the benevolence of the divinity keep questioning keep exploring and remember science is a key to unlocking so many mysteries including the mysteries of the kingdom connect to our social media handles at physics bible the triune physics for latest update thanks for joining us stay equipped stay liquid